we check into the Honolulu Modern, looking out on the Alawai Boat Harbor. The rest of the group is headed home tomorrow, but we're staying three extra days to visit Sherry's sister Monty and her nephew Josh. Today we ask Monty to take us to some out of the way places to take pictures. So she's taking us to two Buddhist temples today. The first one is the Biodin Temple in Kanioi, tucked behind a cemetery. It's a replica of an 11th century temple in Uchi, Japan. There are plenty of details to photograph. The atmosphere is very calming, just what we need after three weeks of constant travel. The wildlife is only semi-wild. They sell feed for the birds and the koi. The peacock and the black swans were the most fun to photograph. The temple cat sleeps outside the snack bar. The second temple is a Korean one in the Palolo Valley. The decoration is more like we've seen in Bhutan. The four kings stand guard in the gatehouse. It's interesting to see the difference in style. But the effect is the same, a certain calmness and serenity. The Thousand Buddhas was the most interesting to photograph. Each one is different. Today we're on our own. It's been quite a while since we've been to Waikiki. We usually try to avoid it, but today we're going to wander down the beach and back on Kalakawa Street. It's just as busy as I remember it. The Royal Hawaiian and the Moana are still here, but they're hidden by all the high-rise hotels and shops. It's time for some shave ice. We find a few birds and flowers to photograph at Fort Derussi. Back at our hotel, it's time to repack. Money and Josh take us here for real Hawaiian food. Today, Josh is showing us some of his favorite hidden places. Waimanalo Bay is just the opposite of Waikiki. This is part of the reason. Kaipu Island is a bird sanctuary. It's quite a view from Makapu'u Gap. The coast is really rugged here at Walona Cove. This is Coco Crater. In the 35 years we've been coming to Hawaii, I've never seen a live mongoose. Here they are alongside the scenic overlook. Spinning Caves is a real hidden spot. The name comes from the action of the water in the caves along the cliff.
Tonight we all have dinner at Roy's Hawaii Kai, an old favorite. Tomorrow we're going home.